uh, in this module uh, i'll talk about javascript uh, javascript if you recall in uh, module number 2 i talked about the skills for in the context of engineering and cloud and the requirement of javascript developers was very high and i promised you at that time that i'll talk about and we'll discuss and we'll actually do development work using javascript in this course so this is the introductory module about javascript uh, javascript has many applications but in the context of web based database applications usually javascript is used at the client side for validation purposes i have mentioned validation to you number of times before also in the context of uh, authentication in the context of uh, uh, checking what goes into the system so validation in a nutshell briefly means that if i enter the date i enter the date in the date cell or the text box at my browser instead of entering the name because if the name which is text type goes to the date at the server side it creates problem for the server extra processing or if uh, somebody enters an email address and tries to enter an email address uh, which is not a real email address without an at sign using the javascript i can catch that missing at sign or uh, if somebody enters uh, if us asked to enter a official email address and enters a commercial email address or you know what i'm saying so the javascript catches this so you will we will discussing all of this you will actually do all of this but before this basics of javascript a brief history of javascript uh, javascript was developed and it is was named live script and some marketing guru got an idea of calling it javascript and then is confusion people comparing it with java javascript doesn't have any compiled code it is an interpreter there is no binary over it it runs in your browser and uh, what is a javascript program a javascript program consists of literals it consists of keywords it consists of operators and uh, anybody who has done programming will find javascript fairly easy to program fairly simple to program it's not complicated and the javascript is running in your web page your browser is the application domain it is uh, uh, independent of the server uh, almost all the browser support javascript so you can develop limitless applications using javascript so what javascript can do uh, javascript uh, can uh, do what i have actually told you what it can do what it cannot do there are hardly full fledged complete applications using javascript you will not find complete application using javascript because that is not the purpose or the strength of the javascript what javascript can do what it cannot do is that what was you don't allow it in your browser it is up to you uh, what uh, the privileges what you have given to your browser only with respect to those privileges only with respect to those uh, authorities the javascript can operate and uh, then came windows uh, windows elevated javascript to the level of visual basic before that uh, the, the 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 javascript was not such a mainstream and uh, of course that i have told you so uh, javascript development options uh, you can develop javascript into uh, which the, in the asp.net environment also and there are other environments also for developing javascript uh, which support which help you understand and code and everything and of course you can develop javascript within your browser and you can see the results within your browser also and you have you don't have to configure any environment for javascript there are no specialized servers there are no specialized client software there are no specialized uh, middle tier software so that is the strength of the javascript uh, there is some issue of javascript with respect to debugging because that is not uh, very uh, powerful in terms of the browser so you need to have sir tools such as firebug for the firefox uh, uh, browser for the debugging purposes and there are other uh, tools also available in the market which can help you uh, develop uh, javascript applications and debug them uh, effectively efficiently without loss of productivity 
and a bit of housekeeping with reference to javascript that the javascript uh, white what is the meaning of white spaces and how it is case sensitive and how the comments are placed and how the things work together so that is a bit of housekeeping we'll go into the details about it and the javascript statements uh, the javascript statement is a collection of as i said before it's literals and operators and keywords and they collect and together and uh, the interpreter understands what is there in the javascript and acts upon it and generates the results so this is all happening within the browser and then uh, we'll look at the functions of the javascript there are quite a few functions of javascript i'll go into the details in the subsequent sections and then the javascript strict mode which is more secure so that's about it for this module